hello everyone welcome back to my channel hope i'm meeting all of you in the best of health all right from lesion um series the series continues of course this is a part three and today we're talking of beta hydroxide if you've not watched my part two um is on alpha hydroxide and the alpha hydroxide of choice was the lactic acid all right today is the beta hydroxide and the beta hydroxide of choice is the salicylic acid the popular salicylic acid now salicylic acid is popular for its treatment of acne all right i like to call ADH, that's alpha hydroxide and bha i like to call them cousins relatively well to call them cousins is the fact that they kind of function the same although not so the same but they kind of work on the same lines um of exfoliating chemically yes um salicylic acid is a better hydroxide no wonder it works more for antibacterial um purposes yes salicylic acid is a very popular products used for the treatment of acne but it brings us today to the usage rate of salicylic acid now salicylic acid also has its own effect that the usage rate of salicylic acid is about 0 0.5 to 2 percent yes that is the usage rate yes salicylic acid um just like after any other half hydroxide also has its effect on the skin if overused and one of the effects of the salicylic acid of course is the drying out of the skin no wonder some people wonder i'm using a product that is anti-acne but why is it causing more acne yeah because it's drying out the skin and it could easily lead to breakouts and dermatitis but then used as a safe usage rich uh, range yeah safe usage rate is going to give you a good result not only salicylic acid is a bha we also have the azelic acid is equally a bha yeah so um the usage rate of salicylic acid as i said earlier should be 0 0.5 to 2 percent which brings me to the fact that i have a face wash here on my product line that is with salicylic acid and in this product my usage rate of salicylic acid was just at one percent and let me tell you why it was at one percent that is because i also have a face cleanser that contains salicylic acid another one percent so are you understanding now so basically when you come for a face product to treat acne i'm going to give you a salicylic acid face wash and a salicylic acid cleanser with one one percent complementing each other is it clear now? So some mistakes that some people make is using uh, maybe a face cleanser of salicylic acid 2% um, 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 a to uh, serum of another 2% like that's going to be a little bit too much and might give a negative result in most cases. So now I have a face wash example now how to get the usage rate. Now let's calculate how I got my usage rate of a 1% salicylic acid face wash. Now let's say we have a face wash of about 500 grams yeah let's say that and now in the face wash of 500 grams we want to work with just one percent of salicylic right of salicylic acid yes so how are we going to get the accurate um weight of salicylic acid that was going to be used in the 500 grams face wash now let's go it's a very simple item one percent that is one over hundred times five hundred right now this is equals to simple arithmetic as i always say this this we go this this we go and one times five is five right so you're getting five grams weight of salicylic acid that will be one percent of your 500 grams face wash is it clear here yeah some um bha could also cause purging on its own let me tell you that's even used at the right usage rate if you the example of such a bha is the azelic acid it has a tendency of purging your skin but basically the purging now is not a negative purging per se it's a purging that wants to bring out all of the acne hidden underneath your skin and then clearing them off eventually Yes, so um, in your calculation of BHEs, um, they all have usage rates. Of course, azelic acid has a usage rate of almost about 1 to 10 percent. Yes, azelic acid is not as hectic or is not as strong as the salicylic acid. Yes, so therefore, this is um, how to calculate um, 1 percent of salicylic acid in a 500 grams face wash 
five grams will give you one percent and very very important again let me add quickly in this formulation series is the fact that your credibility of ingredients too matters yes credibility of ingredients matters in the usage rate make sure when you're buying ingredients you're buying from a reliable vendor you're buying good ingredients that are not adulterated so basically that is it thank you so much for um coming to watch my videos back returning subscribers i love you guys new subscribers thank you so much and welcome to the team um don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel if you're not subscribed like my videos share my videos if you can and see you in another formulation series. Bye and have a nice day ahead of you.